Future this, Mina moved to his grandparents' house. At 14, Mina quit school in order to provide for his family and work at a slaughterhouse. Eight years later, Mina moved to Lima in order to pursue his boxing career. His first fight was against Chilean Manuel Vargas. Although it was an intense fight, Mina defeated Chilean Manuel Vargas in 10 rounds on October 22, 1955. After a few fights in Lima, Mina lost his first fight against Luis Ignacio in Sao Paulo. After that loss, Mina didn't lose for another eight years and even had a fight in Madison Square Garden, New York, which ended up being his highest point game against Henry Hank. After defeating Eddie Cotton in 1962 by a decision in 10 rounds in Lima, he was ranked the number one contender by the biggest boxing article producers ring magazine. Mauro Mina's final match of his career was scheduled to be against Harold Johnson, but the discovery of one of his recent re retinal injuries made this match never happen. Final record of 58 fights, of which he won 52, 25 by KO three losses, and three draws. He is now remembered as the best Peruvian boxer to ever live. He was so admired, in fact, that he had a song dedicated to him by Peruvian singer Chabuca Granda called Puños de Oro. Donde quiera que estés ha de llegarte La ofrenda de mi voz y agradecerte El luminoso trazo que nos dejas Y el soleado mañana que entregaste Un solo norte, un solo empeño Tu suelo corazón del que eres dueño Sacrificando luz por darle gloria Sus colores en sombras soñarías Morirías tus sombras sin dolores La tierra va tomando de tu estrella Y tu estrella morena va brillando 